My name is Zoe, I have a five month old son and I'm 15 years old. My name is Lindsay, I'm 16 years old and I have a two month old son and I believe Jonathan is a father. If you want to have a baby as a teenager, I think you should wait because it is hard. I would tell any girl that wants to have a baby at this age, just not do it because it's a lot of responsibility and the dads don't really stick around. I'm 16 years old and you're a father of two possibly? That doesn't scare you? That I mean, doesn't make you nervous, uneasy, ter tremendous uh, amount of pressure on you? I mean, it does a little bit. I mean, it's not, you know what I'm saying, it's not that serious, but. I it's mean, not that serious? No, not Having really. Having two kids at 16 is not that serious? Have you been in the, the baby's lives? Mm -hmm. With Zoe's kid, for about the first two months, you know what I'm saying, I was there or whatever, but it seemed like, you know what I'm saying, as soon as she signed up, found out like we wasn't gonna be together, it was just like, you know what I'm saying, she kinda cut me off, like she didn't want me to be there and stuff like that. So I just stopped, you know what I'm saying, stopped caring, you know what I'm saying? So and with um with Lindsay's kid, I've only seen it once. It's been born for like two months now. I only seen it one time or whatever. How come you only seen it once? I don't know. It's like she's letting her mom get in the way of, you know what I'm saying, us. Like her I don't think her mom really likes me that much. Well, what parent would be happy that their 15-year-old, 16-year-old girl is pregnant and having a baby. He's in a gang, which you both knew. How good of a father is he going to be at 16 years old? I know you're here today because uh, you're helping Lindsay and you're dating her and you're helping uh, raise the child. Uh, what, do you, what do you have to say? All I got to say to John, I never seen, I never met him, but now I know who he is. And all I got to say to you, you need to grow up, you need to man up for your actions. Because you're not hurting me, you're not hurting yourself. This, this show is for you. For you to realize every, everything that you're doing to these girls. And all I want to tell you right now, she don't need you. We don't need you. Well, you're a mature man. You seem like you got your head on straight. You've done a great job trying to raise your son. I, I, the, the good thing about this story is, even if he's not there with his head on totally right, it seems like he's got a great dad that will at least keep pushing him in the right direction. And you can't lay all the blame on him. Yeah, what he did was wrong. But they let him do wrong. The good thing is, I think this is the first time we've ever had this on the show where I have somebody that's normal, that's normal, that's normal. We've never had that. We've never had three sets of normal parents on my stage before. I wish everybody had luck. There was some question about the paternity of these children. Jonathan's the father of both. Uh, I think his dad's going to stay on top of him to make sure he's involved with these children and he supports them. I believe that. Um, but again, I hope that this show we use it as a vehicle. A lot of young girls watch this show, and someday I believe we're going to stop somebody from getting pregnant at 14, 15, 16. And if we do that, then doing this show is totally worth it. Thank you so much for being on the show. <laughs>